Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another photo editing video. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to spice up your panning shot. So I'll show you how to go from this to this. So if you don't know what a panning shot is, it's basically a photo where you follow your subject with the camera and you shoot it at a low shutter speed, uh, making sure that your subject is in focus and your background is blurry. And what it does, it creates a effect of action or of motion. So it's a really cool photo trick to do. So I can tell you for sure that it's not easy to get your uh, subject in focus to get the shot right. So you're gonna be praying to God or universe or Tom Cruise that you're gonna have a shot that's uh, good. Once you do have a shot, we can jump into the computer and start editing and then I'll show you how to spice up that photo. All right, so I've done some basic Lightroom editing on this image already. This was taken in Tokyo, and like I said earlier, it's not easy to get like a good panning shot. So it took me um, well over an hour, and I think I, I got away with maybe three or four or five images that are usable. So uh, yeah, this is al already a um, standard Lightroom edit, as you can see, just some color and brightness uh, and exposure. Um, so what we're gonna do once you have your basic edit finished, um, you're gonna go to photo, edit in, and then edit in Photoshop. And that'll open the image up in Photoshop. Cause most of this like spicing up is gonna be happening in Photoshop. Okay, so once we have the image opened in Photoshop, what we're gonna do is um, turn this background into a, sorry, into a layer, so layer from back background. And what we're gonna do is duplicate that, and you can do that by command or uh, control, I think, on PC, um, J, or you could even just uh, right click and then uh, duplicate the layer. So and then on the copy, we're going to select our car. So basically in the panning shot, what you want is to have everything that is in focus selected. So in this case, that would be the car and then everything uh, out of focus, not selected. And um, what I use is the uh, quick selection tool here to just make a quick first selection and then work it out more detailed uh, after. So just uh, this will give me a good basis to start working with. Um, because the selection itself and the masking, depending on the image and depending on your subject, it could take a little time to do like a good job at it. Okay, that'll work. And so basically I want to have, I want to edit everything that is not selected. So I want to have, I want to be able to edit the lights here in the background. So what I'm gonna do is go to select, inverse, and I'll select everything else. And then I'm gonna go to the bottom here and add layer mask. So um, what this does is, as you can see, it selects everything. If I undo the uh, original layer, it selects everything but the car. What I would want is because I wanna edit the lights and the, the ground, the street, separately. What I'm gonna do is just uh, basically select the street here, go to the mask and fill this with a black, so making it not visible. So right now, as you can see, we pretty much only have the lights selected. So what we're gonna do now is, uh, now we can edit these lights. And this is where, I guess you could say, the magic is going to happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to filter and then blur and go to motion blur. And as you can see, I already have the settings uh, pretty good. So what you wanna do is make sure the angle is at zero degrees and that will give you a nice motion going from left to right or right to left, which is the motion you get from doing this kind of panning shot. And then this is really a matter of taste, this is the distance measured in pixels. So if you go lower, you can see the blur is much less. The higher you go, the stronger the blur is. And usually the sweet spot is, I think, around a thousand. 
because we want to make it look a little more abstract, I guess. So once you're happy with the result and you can kind of check it out on preview, you just press OK. And this already looks way cooler. I'll just uh, go to the original image and this. So as you can see, this looks way cooler already. Um, but you can see as well, because we've been blurring this, um, basically this blur is now coming over our car that's in focus. So that's where we're going to adjust the mask here a little bit and just uh, make sure that it doesn't cover our car that's in focus. So what we're going to do, make sure you're on the mask selected here. You take your brush, you take the, make sure you're on black and then a brush size that works well. Um, and then we're basically going to just go over the car. And the great thing about working with a mask like this when you're doing this is that you're not we're working non-destructively so meaning that if you would mess up you can just go back and paint it white and you can uh, make as many mistakes as you want and not really ruin your image and have to start all over again so i'm just gonna speed this up a little bit so basically what we're doing is we're just going over the car making sure that everything that's meant to be in focus is actually in focus and I'm just doing that in the masked layer here. So um, another thing is as you can see here if you zoom in you're going to see that here you really have the line separating and that's because earlier when I did the selection I basically drew a rectangle here. This kind of creates this line with, uh, which obviously doesn't look very nice at all. So what we're just going to do we're going to take a very soft brush um, and you know not very large but large enough around 200 pixels and we're just going to go over here and just soften that out and the same on the other side of the vehicle. And as you can see, then we get a nice transition. Okay, so then you can basically still work on this as much as you like. For example, I would Photoshop uh, these little things out here like uh, to make it look a little more smooth. But really what I wanted to show you was how you can make these lights, this motion that you get from a panning shot, how you can make that nice and smooth and make it look really cool. All right, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did like it, please help me out and subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.